What I like about getting back to dear old London is the English scenery. Always beautiful, always fascinating. Makes you want to see more, doesn't it? Now, is she gay, happy, vivacious? Oh, at least she's charitable. Thank you, miss. Sir? Which way is the first aid room? I'll show you. Can you manage? Yes, thanks. Of course. You're the famous Simon Templar. Try again. Can you tell me your name now, miss? Diana Gregory. And your address? 23 Avenue Marceau, Paris. You're just visiting London? Yes. What happened? For some unknown reason, you were given a hypo. Drink this, my dear. Thank you. It'll help clear your head. I, I remember a nun. She, she had a collection box. I, I gave her... A hypo? Y you mean a hypodermic injection? Yes, miss. Mr. Templer saw it happen. Th the nun? A fake. But... Ever see her before? Never. Mr. Templer, you anything to add? I'm afraid not. The taxi, you didn't notice anything? The driver, the registration number? No, I was uh, more interested in Miss Gregory. Well, miss, I'll report this. We may want to ask you some more questions. Where can we get in touch with you? I shall be at my brother's in Chelsea. Michael Gregory, 19 Belleville Place. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't meet me at the station. Unless, of course, he's on duty. Duty? Yes, he's a pilot in the RAF. Do you have a key? No. Well, of course, if he is on duty, then he won't be here to let you in, will he? Oh, is Mr. Gregory in? I'm sorry, there's no person of that name here. But that's ridiculous. He's my brother. He lives here. I'm sorry, but you make the mistake. She has the same man with her. Come quickly. Come. This is crazy. He wrote to me from here two weeks ago. You sure you got the right number? Positive. It was on his letterhead, printed. In fact, wait a minute. This was in his last letter. Well, it's number 19, all right. And there's the light fitting. He must live here. Unless he's moved in the last couple of weeks. You wait here. Come on in. It's all right. The place is empty. Look. 
What does it mean? Someone smokes cigars. You recognize anything? I've never been here before, but I'm positive it's Mike's house. Look at the mail. Mike Gregory. Flight Lieutenant Mike Gregory. Bills. Letters. And this is his picture when he got his commission. You mean my sister's in London? Oh, didn't you send her a telegram? Tell her not to come? Of course I sent her a telegram. Obviously, she didn't receive it. Call her. But please be very careful what you say. No details. I'm not that stupid. Hello? Uh, hello, Di. It's Mike. Mike! Where are you? Oh, look, I, I can't talk now, but I'm involved in something rather confidential. I won't be seeing you for a couple of days. Yes. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be home as soon as I can. I beg your pardon? Don't treat me like a child. Don't be so touchy, Mike. Now, if you'll excuse us. Before I could ask him anything, we got cut off. Still, I expect he'll ring again. At least I know he's all right. He was involved in something very confidential. Well, that's what he said. Probably some Air Force project. Do you know where he's stationed? Hmm. Blakewell. No, are you sure you wouldn't rather stay in an hotel? No, I'll be fine here, really. Here's my number. If you uh, need anything, call. Okay? I will. You've been marvelous. I can't thank you enough. Well, you could have dinner with me tonight. I'd love to. I'll call for you at eight. Templar? Yes. Our flight Lieutenant Wills is expecting you. Come in. Mr. Templar, sir. Thank Simon, you. how are you? It's been a long Charles, time. Nice to see you. What can I do for you? Oh, I'd like some information. Sit down. Thank you. What would you like some information about? Uh, flight Lieutenant Michael Gregory. Is, uh, is he a friend of yours? No, sir. Matter of fact, I don't even know him. In that case, I can be perfectly frank. He was court-martialed three months ago. Cashiered. Flung out on his ear. What for? Passing dud checks, oh man. Slung one at our mess for 25 quid. Bounced higher than a trainee pilot hitting the runway at 400 knots. The CO warned him about it a dozen times. You've uh, seen the Osprey, haven't you? Yeah. Vertical takeoff jobs. Fantastic. A nozzle on either side directs the thrust, either back or down. Result? A supersonic aircraft that'll practically dance a ballet. Take off and land anywhere? Absolutely anywhere. Have you any idea what young Gregory's up to now? I haven't the foggiest old boy. Probably with some crummy charter company flying an old Dakota tied up with string. Bit of a come down after Ospreys. Why all this interest in young Gregory? I know his sister. What do you want? I might ask the same question. I'm Diana Gregory. This is my brother's house. Congratulations. Look, Look I'm, I'm a friend. Or at least, let's say I was a friend. Oh, I see. I have the deep misfortune, and I'm not kidding, to be in love with your brother, but he's forgotten I'm alive. I I'm sorry. I don't even know where he is. Neither do I, I'm afraid. 
And we're both in the same boat. All alone. Do you have any friends in London? Yes, a few. Have you been in touch with them? No, not yet. I just arrived. <sighs> Look, I know I shouldn't ask this, but I'm desperate. Do you think you could have dinner with me tonight? I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, please. I simply don't know what I'm doing wrong. I am sorry, really, but I have a dinner engagement. Have a nice evening. No, honestly, with someone called Simon Templer. He's picking me up here at eight. Oh. Are you in a hurry? Hmm? Because if that tea's still hot, I'd love some. Oh, yes, of course. I'll get you a cup. She has a dinner engagement with somebody called Simon Templer. Where? He's calling for her here. Then someone should meet him. Get her into the taxi. involved in what we're trying to do. Yes. Nothing must stop us, do you understand? I understand, Sonny. This man Templar is a danger we couldn't have foreseen. He could ruin everything. He must be stopped. Yes, I understand, Sonny. Good. Is here huh? and drinking. What we do is dangerous and he's not reliable. He'll be reliable now. Take her in there. You're in my chair. A chair? Is this just a chair? I thought it was the throne. 
Uh, do sit down, Your Highness. You'd better go. Oh, I intend to, but not back to that crummy hotel room. I'm going home to see my sister. Is that so? Yes, Your High and Mighty Majesty, that is so. I'm quitting. I've decided I won't play. A decision you've been pondering for some days now. Say all, know all, Hassani. What about our £3,000 deposit? Oh, I'll give it back, every penny. And that'll fix everything, will it? Oh, it'll have to, won't it? <coughs> you make me sick. I can't do it. Yeah. No wonder they chucked you out of the Air Force. A weak, snivelling coward. Well, you don't make a bargain with me and just change your mind. You'll do what you agreed to do, and to be absolutely sure of your cooperation, I've made some special arrangements. You want to see your sister? Open it. Go ahead. Look. Diana? Diane? It is me, Mike. What have, you, what have you done to her? Chloroform. She'll be all right. You... No harm will be done to her, as long as you carry out your task. When you've finished, she'll be turned loose in Hyde Park. Hassani, please, let her go. When you've done what you agreed to do. Well, I'll, I'll go through with it, on my word of honour. Honour. We're wasting time. I won't mention the drinking again. It's to stop. Do you understand? Yes. Go back to your hotel. Have a good night's sleep. Be at the boathouse on the Serpentine at 11 tomorrow morning. And be on time. 11 sharp. See your clock still running? Where is she? I, uh, I d don't understand. You mean you want me to explain? Well, I, I tell you, I, I explain. How long are you going to keep me here? Well, that depends on your brother. I 
trust we're taking the short route. Do you have a key? Well, uh, the truth You is... have. Open it. Ahmed, is that you? Answer. Yes, it's me. Uh, obviously, you have taken care of Mr. Templer. Yes, thanks. Now, I had a dinner date with Miss Gregory, and I'm getting hungry. Where is she? Gentlemen, it's only fair to warn you that I have a pretty foul temper when I'm famished. Well? Diana? Simon! Gentlemen, please, where are your manners? Let the lady through. Please, I don't want any unnecessary violence. Is that clock right? Yeah, it's two minutes to eleven. anything? Not yet. Are you sure you got it straight? Well, I think so. I was still pretty groggy. But I heard the man say to Mike, be at the boathouse on the Serpentine at 11 tomorrow. There he is. Where? The rowing boat. No, over there to the right. Proof where? Not being overheard. The something at Mary Vic. In cash course. Okay tonight. Lip reading isn't as simple as some people think. You're doing fine. Read the uh, first sentence back again. Um, you will, then a blank, in the aspirin tonight. Mm, it's a round of vowel. Aspirin's wrong. Osprey. Hmm? It's a vertical takeoff jet. Really? Never heard of it. Who will run the phone again? Right. I think I've got it this time. You will take off in the Osprey tonight. Ref refuel at Mary Vic. Something. The necessary maps. What about my money? 30,000 US dollars in cash, of course. Okay, tonight at 11. You know what that means? I, I don't believe it. Not Mike. He couldn't. I'm afraid he could. About just over an hour. Operator, could you give me the number of the RAF station at Blakewell? You're nervous. Why not? I've got to fly the flaming thing. There's a dance on at the camp. Security will be relaxed. And the weather forecast is clear. Uh, could I speak to Flight Lieutenant Wills, please? I'm sorry, sir. Flight Lieutenant Wills is not available at the moment. There's a mess dance tonight. I'm sorry, sir. It's impossible. I'll give him a message if you like. Well, see that he gets it at once, will you? It's most urgent. My name is Simon Templer. Tell him I've learned that there's an attempt being made tonight to steal an osprey. Of course I'm serious. Now, see that he gets the message, will you? Yes, right away. Mike's been forced into this. I know I could talk some sense into him. We've nearly an hour. Please, Simon, let's try and stop him before it's too late. What 
about my sister? She'll be released the moment you reach your destination. You have my word, and my word means something. There it is. Are you sure it's serviced? Everything's been arranged. on to what we're doing. It just telephoned. I've got to give Wills the message, otherwise they'll finger me. I'm not carrying the can for this flaming lark. When did Templar phone? Look, the job's off, do you understand? Mission aborted. Now clear out. I've got to sound the alarm. Hassani, no! You killed him? Yes. But you killed him? Yes. Now say something about cold blood. Get on with it. You should know by now, Lieutenant, that we're not playing games. He's always been a bit wild and irresponsible. But he's not bad. He's not. All right, off you go, and good luck. I'll need it. Incredible. Read that first bit again. You, <clears throat> you will take off in the Osprey tonight. Refuel at Mary Vic. We're not sure of the place. Blank will provide the necessary map. Adjutant. What? Where? What direction? Right. Get that to Air Ministry Intelligence right away. It was spotted by Coastal Command over Dungeness, headed southeast, flying at naught feet to avoid NATO radar. Southeast. Could be making for the Middle East. Figures. Adjutant? Or what's the guard's condition? All right, keep me informed. They've shot Corporal Bullen and coshed a patrol guard. Won't half be a row after this little lark. Charlie, what's the range of the Osprey? Mm, about a thousand miles. So if he's uh, eventually flying towards the Middle East, he'll have to refuel somewhere. Mm -hmm. And a thousand miles would put him down somewhere in Romania, Yugoslavia, Albania, Greece. Well, he wouldn't dare use a regular airfield. Not in a friendly country. He won't have to. Not in Osprey, will he? Oh, that's true. He could land in some remote place, a clearing in a forest, a field, without the authorities knowing. Charlie, look. Marovic. Not Marovic. I know the country well. I want to fly after him. You're mad. How long does it take to refuel on Osprey? Well, if it's done in a field somewhere without proper equipment, anything up to four or five hours. Then there is time, isn't there? For what? To get to Marovic, find the Osprey, and blow it up before it can take off for its final destination. Well, they'd skin me alive. I, I, I couldn't let you. I, I haven't got the authority. 
I'll tell you how to get it. You call this number. Ask for a Major Carter. Explain the situation. Charlie, I'm telling you that if you wait for the Foreign Office and Interpol to pull the plug out by going through the proper channels, your three million pound aircraft is going to belong to somebody else. All that secret equipment on the other side. Alert tower and duty ground crew for takeoff. Then I want to speak to Major Carter at Whitehall 897-896. I'll hold on. Oh, Charlie, one other thing. Diana can fill you in on the details. Call the police. Have them raid the offices of the Ajax Warehouse Company. Be cover check. Uh, you must be Templar, no? That's all right. I scare you plenty, huh? <laughs> oh, plenty. Always I say to myself, even during the war, cover check, I say, always take time for the little joke. <laughs> well, I'm glad London got in touch with you. Yes, Major Carter. The plane, she landed already. Where? About 10 kilometer north. I'm not sure exact, but soon I find out. How? <laughs> I'm a very crafty fella. Uh, so am I. That makes two of us. I've got a car. I take you to the village inn. The uh, English pilot is there already. Also with him is this Landek, you know, the uh, the fixer, the arranger. Oh, the middle van? Yeah, like I say, he's an agent who deal in armament for certain government. He's got plenty of influence, but not with the innkeeper. <laughs> he's my brother. <laughs> All in the family, eh? Sure, it's safer that way. <laughs> this uh, this Landek, he's instructed my brother to order a taxi for four o'clock for himself and for the English pilot. But now for you, I've got a big surprise. You're the taxi driver. Oh, you guess already. I'm a crafty fellow, too. Hey, <laughs> come on. Tarkisha. Where are they? In the English pilot's room. from London. He's welcome. My brother. Don't you feed him? Please. I have put you in the room next to English pilot, so come. If you need me, I'll be in the kitchen. I'll go feed my face. Hey, if there's a fight, don't forget to say one for coffee check, huh? Sagla will be here. Well, he'd better be. Do not worry. After all, he's flying the plane to its final destination. And just as a matter of curiosity, what is the uh, final destination? That is not your affair. Well, the money's my affair. My sister's my affair. Your sister will be released in London the moment Colonel Sagla is airborne in the Osprey. And he's bringing the money. I wish I never got into this filthy business. But you did. Because you have two very common faults. You are weak. And you are greedy. Spare me the lecture.
Mr. Hazerite, gentlemen. Colonel Zagler. This is Flight Lieutenant Gregory of the English Royal Air Force. And retired. Excuse me? Skip it. And this is Colonel Zagler, who will take over the plane. Good evening. Oh, I hope you fly it smack into the Mediterranean. I shall go at once to the landing site to ensure everything is in order. But no doubt you would like some food and a little rest after your long journey. Yes. You can follow with Gregory in half an hour. You mean I've got to go back there? It is so arranged. <laughs> what for? You've got the flaming aircraft. What else do you want? Flying lessons? I have no experience on vertical takeoff jets. A briefing is most necessary. Now look, I want my money. I have the money here. Thirty thousand dollars. Which you will get when Colonel Zagler is safely in the air. At the same time, I send a signal to London and your sister is released. The landlord has a meal for you. You will excuse me, please? Anytime. You are being played for the biggest sucker of all time. Landek, I am concerned. So am I. The English pilot is unreliable. He's a threat to all of us. It is a problem, Colonel. You must work out any way you wish. Or not a deal. I had no intention of letting Diana go free. If they were going to kill her, I had to get her out at gunpoint. And believe me, they are going to kill you. Oh, I don't believe it. Well, they brought the money. And they are going to keep it. No, they wouldn't do that. Mike, I was sent here to blow that plane up. Instead, why don't you fly it back? Me? Go back to England? They'd give me 20 years. Stay here and you're dead. I won't stay here. I'll go to France or Italy. Can't you get it through your thick head? That no matter where you are, you are a threat to their organization? You can talk. The minute they are through with you here, you will get a bullet in your back. We are through with him. Now. <laughs> them rock before they get that plane. Oh, there's uh, been a slight change in plans. We're going to fly the Osprey back to England. never make it, Templar. I've lost a lot of blood, you know. We're going to get that plane out of here, and you're going to fly it. I hope your brother can handle Zagler. My brother only little, but plenty smart fella. Father. We're almost there. Are you right? Yes. Guards ahead. The two pilots. Retario Longatina. Lazzi, push it back again. Go 
can't make it. You got to now watch it. I'm ready to check out the procedure with Colonel Zagler. Of course. Bleeding. Yes, I uh, cut myself on a flaming whiskey bottle. Follow me. I'm going to pass out. Not until we get this thing off the ground, you're not. Tell everyone to stand well clear. I want to run her up to full power. All right. What do I do? Just a moment. Your pilot wants a practice run-up. Tell everyone to stand well clear. Volare de Montardila, aeronave in Donosta. Right. Switch on. Throw that switch forward. Not that one, the other one. Fine. Now, pull this green knob slowly back. Slowly. Right. Press the button. Nozzle selector lever. Uh, uh, Mike, wake up. Mike. Crossing the coast now, Mike. All right. I think I'll make it. Come on now, you've got to help me land this plane. on an ambulance. Towers had a signal. The Osprey cost the coast three minutes ago flying low. Templar and your brother. He's wounded, but not seriously. You mean... Mike's back? Yes. Oh, thank God! There it is. Selector forward. 
You're driving too fast. Steady. I can't face them. As you can, Mike, I think they'll take into account that you brought the plane back. Oh, I didn't. Didn't fly on its own. <laughs>